EUS Illustrated Pancreatic Anatomy in Pancreatic Head Cancer. This case is a 63 years old male presented with obstructive jaundice. Laboratory data show elevated CN89 level, jaundice, and a cholestatic type, hepatitis. Besides, MRCP show distal CVD stenosis and upstream CVD dilatation. While scope in stomach and we clockwise and slightly withdraw scope, we can find the body part of the pancreas and the left kidney. We keep clockwise and withdraw scope, we can look through the entire body and the tail of the pancreas. When we counter clockwise and push the scope from the body part of the pancreas, we can find the landmark of the spinal portal conference and the CBD just below the portal vein and the pancreas head below the SMV. Slightly counterclockwise and clockwise the scope, we find the one year defined hypoechoic conditions with an echoic component in the head portion of the pancreas. When we find the head portion of a pancreas in the stomach, we slightly withdraw the scope and use up big wheel, we can trace the CVD to the CT duct even in the gallbladder. While the scope in the bulb of a duodenum, we slightly push the scope to let the tip of the scope stuck in the SDA and use the up of the big wheel to contact the duodenum wall. In this level, we can see the CVD and the neck and the head portion of the pancreas. In this case, we can find the CVD was dilated and the one year defined hypoechoic in the head of the pancreas. While slightly counterclockwise in the withdrawal scope, we can see the hepatic hyaline portion. Then we perform the fine needle aspirations to pancreas head lesion, and the cytology shows adenocarcinoma. Finally, the patient received the pylorus preserving pancreatic duodenectomy and the passage report showed a ductal adenocarcinoma with a common back duct involvement.